Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a flotilla of UFOs over Mexico again. I have this other video here of a photograph which claims to show a light, a being of light. You know, I have no idea whether this is uh, authentic, but it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, article here is the 37th parallel, really the UFO superhighway. Also have this uh, article from the sun that claims to show a triangular object in this uh, hangar. I mean, I I'm, I'm not really seeing it, but uh, I don't know what this is over here. Uh, let's see. Also have these photos of these uh, sinkholes, which suddenly started opening up in Estonia and then have this video of this uh, sinkhole that opened up in Italy. And, you know, I don't know if this has anything to do with that, but according to this video, Earth's rotation is speeding up. I mean, it's it's slight, definitely slight, but, you know, it's uh, Apparently, it's happened like 22 times, and I think uh, that may be a cause for concern. Also have this uh, article here about the uh, one of the oldest conspiracies proven true, Project Echelon, where, you know, apparently our government can listen in on all of our conversations, see all of our emails and all that other good stuff. And then I have this last picture here of a recently discovered jellyfish that was um, found off the Enigma Seamount, which is uh, near the uh, Marianas Trench. And I also have a video here from the National Geographic about it. But anyways, let me uh, go to this first video here. This is a, a flotilla of UFOs over Mexico. And I said this many times, you know, this isn't anything unusual for Mexico. Again, you know, which is why I'm, I, I don't think that these, these things are visiting us from other dimensions, uh, coming from other galaxies and things like that. And I mean, not to say that there aren't for sure. Some of these UFOs we see have to be coming from other dimensions, other galaxies, you know, other planets, whatever. But I think a lot of these videos here, like especially these, because there's so many of them. I think these are um, the advanced species that we share the planet with. We know whatever they're doing. Uh, this video here, yeah, let's see, let me just play this. Well, let me go back to here. Yeah, scholars of the paranormal claim, let me turn this down here, you can... Dimensional doorways exist in the areas that UFOs and luminous beings have been seen before. And it was precisely here in Angmira that this photo was taken. And that's all we really get of this photo. There's nothing else. There's a, you know, there isn't a video involved. But there is one part where I think we see... Yeah, here where they... I, you know, I don't know what what uh, filter this is. But yeah, I have no idea whether this is real or not. But uh, I will leave a link in the description so uh, you can check it out. Now, this is an interesting article here. Is the 37th parallel really the UFO superhighway? And remember, you know, I did a video uh, a few months back about uh, scientists acknowledging that there are um, like super highways that allow vehicles to travel faster than light in, in space. On November 6, 2016, USA Today published an article by John Schwartz titled, The 37th Parallel Makes a Strong Case for UFOs. When Ben Mesrich published his book, The 37th Parallel, The Secret Truth Behind America's UFO Highway was released, Linda Miller Costa and I 
We're deep into crunching data related to our UFO sightings desk reference 2001 to 2015 book. Our first impression of Mesurit's book, it's an interesting theory, but we were too busy at the time to look into the matter. At various UFO conferences where I had spoken over the past three years, the question kept coming up from audience members. What about this whole 37th parallel UFO superhighway thing? I could only shrug my shoulders and offer guesswork based on my familiarity with the states and counties in various regions of the United States. My gut opinion had been that I did not think that the claim would hold up to statistical science. Well, apparently it does. 2018 USA UFO sightings by latitude compiled by Costa and Costa. Well, here's the 34th parallel. It seems to be where the most. Or maybe just everything in between here. Yeah, that is a lot. Like from the 43rd to the 33rd. Oh, yeah. That 10 degrees. Look at that. Look at the difference. Of course, some will want to point out, as the book did, that there were instances of cattle mutilations and paranormal activity along the 37th parallel. Hmm, very interesting article. Well, I will leave a link to this in the description. You can check it out. Uh, this is from the Sun Space Oddity, mysterious triangular shape spotted in Area 51 hangar as spy agency set to reveal UFO secrets in the next six months. Pictures captured. Yeah, I'm not sure about these photos. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that just looks like a hangar there. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is phony. The images were taken on Christmas as Ziefman flew near the U.S. Air Force's secretive flight test center in Nevada. The pilot shot the images from his small Cessna 150 plane while flying with the permission of air traffic controllers supervising the tightly controlled airspace. His route took him inside of the Nevada Test and Training Range, which is part of the Area 51 installation. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure if uh, he's seeing this, but I think this is uh, articles like this are all part of the slow release of information to get people ready for, you know, something that's coming up. Yeah, this notion that, oh, yeah, in 180 days, we're going to tell you this thing that we've been implying about and then it's going to be real. But until then, it's just speculative. Give me a break. Uh, let's see. These are images from Estonia of sinkholes that just recently opened up. And then uh, there's this video here by Dabu077, you know, where he talks about this massive sinkhole opening up in a uh, parking lot in uh, Italy. I mean, here, you know, what I find interesting is... um. This parking lot, they're claiming that it was set up for uh, patients, sick patients. But um, I'm, I'm not seeing any sign that uh, there were any patients at all in this. You know, nothing. I, the, to me, this looks like it's just an empty parking lot that has been empty for a long time. I see no activity of, um, you know, I mean, aside from... The fire trucks that were, that were here, but I, you know, I think if you took a photo of this without the sinkhole, it would have just been an empty parking lot. It wouldn't have been a um, an overflow, like uh, this. You know, like Dabu is, has has stated. I think he's mistaken there. But anyways, let me go on to this next video here because this this might have something to do with uh, these sinkholes. But let me just uh, play some of this. It changes every day. 
and we also see anomalies in the deviation beyond what's expected, with the impulsive or acute events statistically tied to strong solar storms and core geomagnetic jerks. Now, since records began about 50 years ago, the shortest day glitched at about 1.5 milliseconds. This record was broken in 2020, get this, 28 times. 28 times. This is not normal. This is not good. The scientists actually say they see evidence to expect an even more extreme 2021. And for those who know what the bigger version of an Earth rotation glitch is, happens about every 12,000 years, this is about the most unnerving thing I have ever had to report. These glitches are tied to the low velocity zone, where solid rock defies logic on top of a liquid rock ocean. And instead of floating around like pieces of driftwood, they are locked together with a thermoelectric plasticity. This is the region of Earth most likely to be responsible for unlocking the crust and the great cyclical disaster of this planet. And folks, this is what our upcoming book is about, what we made a movie about. Now, again, you know, I don't, seeing this, I don't know if um, this, you know, this is some kind of fear monger in order to sell a book. But if it's true that the Earth's rotation has glitched 28 times, and, you know, we're seeing these photos, and, uh, and you know, again, this is, these sinkholes, uh, this is happening all over the world, all of, yeah, all over the planet. And I think it's unusual. So, yeah, again, I mean, you know, I am not sure if what this video is stating is intended to help sell books or if it's, you know, if it's just actual information that this guy is just merely trying to get out you know, with no, you know, with no necessarily profit motive. I mean, I understand, you know, people need to make money. So if you have a lot of information, you spent a lot of time doing this research, I think you should get paid for it. Um, but, you know, if it's BS, it's a different story. So, yeah, I will leave a link in the description. You can check this out. Uh, this article here, one of the oldest conspiracies proven true, Project Echelon. When Edward Snowden disclosed the vast conspiracy of a multinational surveillance apparatus, it was vindication for Duncan Campbell, who spent decades uncovering one of the biggest facets of government overreach, Project Echelon. And though it took nearly a lifetime to attain that justification, Campbell turned one of the oldest conspiracies into veritable fact. Someone is always listening. What is Echelon? Shortly after World War II, five of the world's major powers, the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada, signed into a joint surveillance program in the aftermath of the Allies cracking the Germany Enigma and Japanese Purple Codes. Understanding the importance of intercepting and monitoring signals intelligence, or SIGNET, these five countries, known as the Five Eyes, signed onto the UK-US agreement, which divvied up segments of the world for each country to monitor. Yeah, that's definitely what's going on. And, you know, it is um, getting kind of um, concerning when a tech company can silence a leader of a country just because they don't like their politics. I think... Um, yeah, things like that are, uh, well, yeah, once you start going down that road, there's, uh, there's no coming back and you start engaging in more repression in order to justify what you're doing. So anyways, it's uh, something to think about. Uh, let me go on to this last picture here. Yeah, this is a picture of a recently discovered jellyfish. Again, this was just recently discovered. And if you look at this jellyfish, you know, I don't think this jellyfish was ever trying to hide itself. It definitely doesn't have uh, the uh, intellect or the technology to cloak itself from, from us. And yet, it was just recently found. Yeah, and I don't think that, that it was ever consciously trying to hide from humans either. And yet, it was just recently found.
So, you know, um, I, you know, I'm, let me play this video here. The Hydromedusa belongs to the genus Crossata and was recently discovered off the Enigma Seamount. Inside its bell, the red parts are the radial canals that branch out of the stomach. The yellow parts are likely the gonads, organs that produce gametes. This discovery was made at 3,700 meters, so don't worry about running into this while swimming. Yeah, you know, this is one of those creatures where I'm sure if um, some diver would have told some scientist a year ago or five years ago or 10 years ago that they saw this little jellyfish, a scientist would go, nope, doesn't exist. If, if I don't see it, it's not real. You know, so, and then again, just because the scientist hadn't seen it, they completely discount the fact that the diver who told him about it did see it. You know, as if the you know the diver that saw it isn't qualified, doesn't doesn't have the 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 schooling, or you know the the, the uh, backing of academia for him to acknowledge that what he saw was real, right? It can't be real until a scientist sees it. That's just you know like I've heard um, what astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson, you know, um, when when questioned about UFOs, that he, you know since he hasn't seen them they aren't real again we, you know when he when he makes a statement like that it completely discounts someone like david fravor who did see it you know he chased it in his jet but somehow the grass tyson says oh i haven't seen it you know it, it 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 hasn't appeared in front of my eyes so that in that case it's it's not real um and um yeah so Anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I have more things like this. Take care.